using Equation Solver, an introduction. This is an introduction to using Equation Solver. I recently attended a math teacher's conference and one lady, Tammy, taught a great lesson about how to use Equation Solver. This video is an attempt to do justice to her instruction while making it available through this media. To learn what you can, it is highly recommended that you follow along keystroke for keystroke with your graphing calculator. Stop and rewind if you get behind. That's how you'll get the most out of this lesson. Equations can be difficult to solve. It's easy to make mistakes. Fortunately, our friends at TI have given us a gift. They created Equation Solver. And this will be on TI 83 series and 84 series calculators. If you have an equation with one unknown, no matter how complex the equation, Equation Solver can make solving it easy. Let's look at Equation Solver. Looking at Equation Solver, we see zero on the left side of the equation. Therefore, we need to get our equations calculator ready. That is, with zero on one side of the equation. We need to get zero on one side of this equation for this equation in order to make it what we call calculator ready. What's going to be the easiest way to solve the equation so zero is on one side? How do we do it? The easiest way is to get rid of 55 on the right side. If we get rid of it, what do we have left? Zero. We can, what we can do, we can subtract 55 from both sides of the equation. Terms on the right side cancel to equal zero. We can combine like terms on the left, but with equation solver, that's not necessary. We can just leave it the way it is. Another way to do it is to send the 55 to the left side of the equation and change the size uh, sign as it crosses the equal sign. We get the same thing. We get to Equation Solver by pressing the math key on the left of the keypad. Then we can either arrow down to zero and press enter, or we can just press the zero key. If we see an expression on the right side of the zero, like in this one, we, we get rid of it by pressing the up arrow, and then we press the clear key. And that gets rid of it. Now we're set with zero on the right side like we need. We can put in the expression of the other side of the zero. We can now we use the equation solver by pressing the alpha key on the left side of the keypad. Then we press the enter key which gives us the solver operation. This number is the last one calculated by Equation Solver when it was used previously. So that's not our answer. And that's key thing to remember as we go through this and other lessons. We need to find the solution to this equation by pressing alpha again, then enter again. Our answer for x is 16. Stated another way, 16 is the value for x that makes this equation a true statement. It's always a good idea, especially when starting something new, to check our work. We'll check 16 to make sure it's the right value for x. Let's get to our home screen by pressing second, then mode for quit. Let's test our answer by trying 16. Enter 16 then press the storage key, which is STO, on the left side of the keypad. Then press the X key. Then press Enter. Now we've stored 16 for X. To check our answer, we go back to our original equation. And we do this because it this is what will ferret out a mistake if we've made one in our initial algebra. We enter the left side of the equation, 5x minus 25, and we press enter. Since 55 equals 55, we have verified that 16 is the value for the unknown x. Now we know it. I hope you can see from this introduction what a powerful tool Equation Solver can be. Let's summarize today's lesson. Make the equation calculator ready by solving for zero on one side of the equation. 
Access Equation Solver by pressing the Math key, then the Zero key. Enter your calculator ready equation by entering the side that is equal to zero. If there is an equation there already, get rid of it by pressing the up arrow key, then the clear key. Four, press the alpha key, then the enter key. Move the cursor down with the arrow to the unknown you are solving for, then press alpha and the enter key again. That was our introductory lesson. We plan to have further lessons to show how you can use the equation solver to solve equations of increasing difficulty and complexity. Thanks for viewing.